Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin from the Vanderkinverse. Back again, I got an update on the Moto G100 with Ready4. Okay, so a lot of you have probably already watched my unboxing video of the Moto G100. Uh, I've been using it as my daily driver here for the last uh, couple weeks just to test it out. One of the, it's been a great phone, I really like, it's got a super fast, you know, the Qualcomm uh, 800 series processor, which is amazing, um, so it's been great, um, but one of the features that um, people have been asking about and are curious about is Ready4, so we're going to talk a little bit more about Ready4. So when you get the G100, it comes in this giant box, you know, the phone is part of it, but then you also get this uh, HDMI cable. So it's a special cable plugs into the bottom of the phone uh, with the USB-C but then it has a, a USB-C HDMI on this end and then uh, in the bottom let's see if we can get a zoom in there maybe not um, you can see it's got an adapter here so you can add another USB-C for charging while you're using the HDMI out but so when the magic happens is when you plug it in to a any HDMI source, so I'll try to put it on my uh, TV here. Plug it in. I'll switch to auxiliary. Um, it automatically comes up on the phone if you can see it with the Ready for Experience here. Might be a little bright. Let me turn that down so you can see it. Um, but then when I put the TV on, uh, let's put this, it should switch to the Ready Moto Ready4 experience on the TV also. So I've got the keyboard from my uh, X1 um, Fold, but any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse would work. This just happens to have it all built in. So then I can control the Ready4 experience on the TV through the cable. So. If you get the Edge uh, phone, it has Ready4 with wireless. The G100 doesn't yet have the wireless. I think it's supposed to be coming later. But for now, you can just plug it into any HDMI, like your monitor or TV. And then you get these different options. So you can switch to mobile desktop. I'll do that one first. So you can see they're trying to replicate a uh, desktop. It does a pretty good job. I downloaded some... Uh, you know, if you run Google Apps on here, they work pretty well. You can see they're all here. So easy enough just to open um, Google Write or Google Sheets or any of those, and you can use it like a desktop. It's not super zippy, but it does an okay job. Um, it's also interesting that you can, from the taskbar, run, or from the start menu, whatever they would call it here, the app tray, you can run any of your... Uh, Android apps that you have on your phone. So, you know, if I want to open my Fly Delta app, for example, you can see it opens that up here too. So, it's a pretty cool way to interact with your phone right through the uh, through your TV and through a keyboard experience. So, uh, and it looks really sharp. It looks great on this big screen, even. So, uh, but then you can go to the Experience Hub. Other ways to use this is you can use it as a TV streamer. So here's some of my streaming options. You can see I got uh, YouTube, Discovery, Peacock, uh, whatever. So you open those up and it works really well. So let's just open the Discovery app, Discovery Plus, and you can see uh, you pick um, who my user is. And it works. Well. So let's hit, uh, let's play uh, Art in Bloom here on Discovery Plus. I know that earlier. But it work, works just like any other um, streaming, you know, uh, flowers. device might We're work. We're going to be so using one of my favorite beautiful. techniques, which is wet on wet technique. So let's... Uh, I'm Helen Daltrey, a designer and painter. Originally from the UK, I followed back. my passion for textiles all the way to New York, to where I developed my love here. for watercolors and their... Sorry about that, but... Then you can go back. Another option you have is games. So if you want to do some heavy gaming as much as your phone can handle, and like I said, this one has the uh, Qualcomm 800 series processor, so you can do some pretty heavy gaming. I just downloaded Tra Tetris from the Moto App Store, and it worked great. Uh, I don't need to show that. 
Um, and then video chat, this was kind of cool. Uh, it, one thing I really liked about the video chat is that it uses the camera that's on the phone. So let me show you how this looks. So if you set the phone up, you know, as a, um, on a stand or something, you could do a, get a pretty good job. That's too bright there. Now you can see that's me, you know, really good quality camera option to use this uh, through your um, ready for. So um, that was it for this solution. One thing it also has is you can hook it up to your PC. So let's go take a look at that a second. Let me pause here and I'll start it back up um, hooked up to my PC. Thanks. All right, so I'm back. Let's try to hook up this uh, Moto G100 to this PC and we'll see uh, what kind of how it works. So let me try to set this camera up over here. We'll get this, um, get trying to see if you can see all the things I'm doing here. So. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take my um, USB-C cable from my speaker, just plug that into the G100, open it up, it um, says it's connected, and then I'm going to open the um, Moto Ready 4 app on my PC, so let me find that here. Um, ready for assistant if you can see that here so we'll click that and then it opens up this qr code on the screen so if i open my camera and i had to install the ready for on my phone too from the app store and then if i open my camera app scan that code you can see it says connecting to pc might be too bright again um, but so it opens up a virtual machine on my PC, which is, you know, the kind of the ready for app. And then I can run any of my apps uh, that are on my phone on the PC also. So um, if I go to my app tray down here. You can see those are all my apps that are on my phone. So if I open up, um, you know, Google Art and Culture. Uh, that's actually running off my phone, right, which is pretty cool. So uh, there's supposed to be some other capabilities coming. I think we're going to be able to um, use the phone camera as a webcam on the PC. So I haven't quite got that figured out yet. Um, but it's kind of cool to use your phone as a virtual machine on your uh, PC too. And you can drag files back and forth very simply between the two windows. Um, it's a good way to do that too. So just some cool functionality as the phone uh, Lenovo, since we own um, Motorola and we own the ThinkPad brand, as they start to interact more and more, some advantages between having a uh, Lenovo PC and a Lenovo Motorola phone too. So I like that they're trying to be creative, um, bring some advantages as the companies together. And uh, We'll keep seeing. I'm looking forward to the, forward to the wireless uh, connectivity with the Moto G100 too as we go forward with Ready4. So that's it. Thanks for joining everybody and uh, hopefully have a great day and we'll catch you on the next unboxing. Bye.